comments on the use of alkalinization, or more specifically, baking soda during cancer treatment range from regarding it as a virtual cure, all for all cancer to calling it outright quackery. But what does the evidence say? In this video, we will examine the mechanism of action of alkalinization and the human data regarding its efficacy. As always, these ideas are discussed in more depth in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive. All citations for studies quoted in this video can be found in the book's bibliography at cancerselfdefense101.com. What is alkalinization? Alkalinization is the process of reducing the amount of acid in a solution. Cancer produces excessive lactic acid, which in turn fuels cancer growth. Some alkalinization processes are showing promise in the battle against cancer, while others are not quite ready for prime time. Sodium bicarbonate baking soda. Oral sodium bicarbonate has been found to lower lactate dehydrogenase, a hallmark of cancer in healthy people. This experiment has not been performed in cancer patients, but it does not take much of an imaginative leap to foresee the same conclusion being reached in cancer patients. Sodium bicarbonate has also shown the ability to improve athletic performance by reducing acidosis. Evidence that sodium bicarbonate improves outcomes in cancer patients includes one study of 57 people with liver cancer who were going to have TACE, transarterial chemoembolization, a form of liver surgery, showed that the infusion of a 5% sodium bicarbonate solution into the tumor produced a 100% response rate instead of 64% in the group without the bicarbonate infusion. Nine patients with advanced biliary tract cancer which has a dismal five-year survival rate, received intravenous baking soda in dimethyl sulfoxide, known as DMSO and oral SAM-E, a dietary supplement. All nine patients had a progression-free survival of at least six months. When the checkup was performed, a very unexpectedly positive result. In a controlled study, 36 advanced pancreatic cancer patients were instructed to consume the alkaline diet, a diet high in fruits and vegetables and low in meat and dairy, along with 3 to 5 G of sodium bicarbonate daily. The overall survival in the experimental group was 15.4 months, compared to 10.8 months in the control group. A case report described a man with stage 4 renal cancer with liver metastases whose treatment failed him after three years. The man declined further standard of care treatment in lieu of a program consisting of supplements and 60 grams of sodium bicarbonate daily. The man's cancer stabilized and he remained healthy for at least three years. There was not an update on the case report, so he could have been stable for much longer. Sodium bicarbonate has shown the ability to help reduce cancer pain, treatment-induced diarrhea, and in a mouthwash reduce radiation-induced oral mucositis. Patients with renal tubular acidosis, an illness where kidneys can't properly remove waste, are prescribed 25 to 50 grams of sodium bicarbonate daily. This has been administered for periods over a year without adverse effects. Sodium bicarbonate monotherapy has also shown the ability to significantly extend overall survival and inhibit metastases in animals. It is possible that sodium bicarbonate could have a positive or negative effect on chemotherapy, depending on whether the chemotherapy is an acid or a base. If the chemotherapy drug is a base, such as gemcitabine, doxorubicin, donorubicin, mitoxantrone, epirubicin, idarubicin, valrubicin, bleomicin, and venorobine. Reducing acid in the tumor microenvironment has been found to be beneficial. Chemotherapy drugs that are acids, such as cyclophosphamide, 5-fluororacil, chlorambutyl, cisplatin, carboplatin, mitomicin C, melphalan, actually have increased absorption in acidic environments, so sodium bicarbonate would not be beneficial. 
Obviously, using sodium bicarbonate concurrent with chemotherapy is a delicate subject and should be discussed with a medical professional familiar with your particular case. Sodium bicarbonate has been shown in animal studies to improve outcomes with immune checkpoint inhibitors where pH is neutral. More information about baking soda during cancer treatment can be found in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101. Quick tips to help you survive.